Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. Let's paint something fun and simple. I found this reference photo on Unsplash. Oh, I get glare and color shifts there. I just, we're just gonna paint this goose uh, head and neck. And I'm thinking we'll do it so it looks a little bit like maybe it's coming out of a barn, um, but keep it simple. So here's, I put it in Photoshop and I cropped it. So this could be the barn door. I didn't really put wood grain in it because I'm we're gonna paint it. You know, that could be kind of the barn cement floor. On a six by eight canvas panel from Michaels. And the traceables on my website, annietro.com. Okay, let's have some fun. Okay, I've got my six by eight inch canvas panel from Michaels. I really like these. I also buy them from US Art Supply. Um, if you want the link, I can give you the Amazon link to the US Art Supply. Just uh, ask me in the comments. I'm gonna, oh, this is a chalk pastel from Blick. Actually, it's the Blick brand. It says orange hue four. So I like to start by writing the word love. Sometimes I forget to show that. And then I'm just gonna um, use some unbleached titanium and paint my canvas. I really don't know what I wanna paint uh, the canvas background. You could uh, put the traceable on it and paint around things. You don't have to paint the background a color first. But I was thinking maybe it might help unify it a little bit if I paint it just some color. I don't know, that might be way overthinking it. So I'm just gonna squirt some out and get some paint on there. We'll time lapse this and I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, a couple things. So, I don't think my unbleached titanium is dry. It's kind of sticky, and I don't know if you can see any gloss. Maybe if I, there, if I kind of step out of the light. Usually, uh, Liquitex paint dries without any gloss on it. With, it dries flat, and it feels a little sticky, so I really should have waited till tomorrow to put the um, traceable on. If you don't have unbleached titanium, you could mix um, mostly white with a little pinch of burnt umber. Do I have burnt umber? Or a brown that you have. And then maybe a little yellow. I mean, it doesn't need to be exact anyway. But I'm wondering like if something's wrong with my unbleached titanium. It's pretty new, but I've used it before. I don't know, maybe I just didn't wait long enough. I dried it quite well with the hair dryer. So usually it's close enough kind of thing. Um, and I'm just cleaning it up with a kneaded eraser. But I don't know that I'm helping it. <laughs> I might just be making it worse. But it's not like we can't, cause see like that's actually, you know, sticking into the, pa into the, the paint. Um, I keep still trying. But we can paint over it and cover it with white. Oh, I used a brown chalk pastel. Um, I think the brand was M-U-N. Oh, I don't know, it's a Japanese brand. It's really expensive on Amazon. I can put the, if you wanna know, uh, I can put the link. Just ask a question in the comments and I'll get you the link. Okay, I'm gonna mess with this a little bit. Yeah, look, I'm just kind of making it. That paint is not dry. Okay, probably best to make sure it's dry. You have a little less fighting to do. <laughs> I'm gonna figure out what colors I'm gonna use and I'll be back in a bit.
Hey friends, I'm gonna stop here for tonight. Things are just really sticky and weird and we're in a severe uh, thunderstorm watch. I'm thinking that there was a big humidity change. Well, I've got my studio window open. I don't know if you can hear, hear the outside. Um, but this still is acting weird. So it's still shiny. It's still shiny. So I'm just, and then the, the paint isn't going on very well either. So I'm like, I, I've got a hot mess going here. So best to stop. Um, I used Burnt Umber. I decided to use that because I'm also, this barn door is going to be kind of a dark gray brown of some sort. And then um, I'm using up my Prussian Blue in the last several videos because it's getting old on me. And when you mix two dark, a dark blue and the dark brown together, I got a really nice black. But you can see it's kind of sliding around on me too. I mean, I wouldn't expect it to cover. You probably can't tell that it's being weird you can't feel it so I think I'll just come back tomorrow or the next day and let this get nice and dry and we should have a lot better luck Okay, so today's the next day. I'm still using that half inch craft brush, craft smart. Um, things are a lot better. It wasn't dry. And I uh, got off my phone, or when I was done videoing, I checked my phone, and it said the humidity in, in Omaha, Nebraska is 71%. And we were, you know, in the middle of a severe storm watch. So I think. It was such a huge change. And now today it's cold, the wind's from the north. It's only like 30 some degrees, uh, almost 40 degrees and everything's drying like I'm expecting it to. So it was, I just really needed to paint that background on and wait till tomorrow. And all this is stuck, but that's okay. We can paint over it, but it's, it's like stuck into the paint. <laughs> so I really did have a hot mess going on and it's gonna need some more coats cause it just, it was just doing funny things. And it's not that you can't paint in the humidity. It's just, I wasn't giving enough time. You know, I, I should have went on to another painting, uh, dried it longer with a hair dryer, those kinds of things. Shut my uh, studio window would have helped because the house is drier this time of year. It's March, very end of March, 2022 as I'm videoing this. So today I put on the burnt umber and some sort of the browns and grays for the barn door. So you can kind of see the barn door. I'm thinking maybe a knot I'm also thinking I might just palette knife it because a lot of times that makes pretty wood texture. And then I'm thinking cement floor in the barn. Um, it could be a dirt floor. I just like the color change. And then I definitely need more, oops, that was wet. So I just put a thumbprint in it. I don't know if you can see it, but like I need more coats. Here, maybe right, run it right around here. I think it'll look better. And I'll play with the values a little bit more, but I'm thinking a little bit lighter here. A little bit lighter here and here and then I'm gonna go darker I think okay so I just wanted to pop in it was totally that the paint wasn't dry the the um, unbleached titanium that I used on the background wasn't dry and I think it might have been sometimes there's a little I don't know I I've only heard artists talk about this I've never run into it but sometimes on the canvas panels or a canvas there's a little I want to say oil and that's probably not the right word at all but I think that might have been mixing with my paint too because this paint seems, I tested it out and it just seems totally fine. So I just had a couple of weird things going on. <laughs> but, um, and I just laugh because you can fix them or really I could get another canvas panel and start over. But I think we should keep going and there's nothing that we can't deal with here. I'm going to paint some more and I'll be back after a bit.
Okay, a couple comments. So, I, I can't remember what I've said because I'm working on another painting too at the same time. And then I do the lives on Wednesdays. Um, so I'm thinking just cement floor. Uh, I, I'm thinking like, I don't know, that could be just a little, like a stall door. It could be, I don't know, a bench or something stored back into the barn. I'm not trying to say too much about it. Okay, maybe if I get it closer and turn it, get a screenshot. And I'll get even closer. So there's some browns in here. A little bit lighter color. And then I put on some paint for the barn door. And there's a little knot. Oh, and then I um I, I drew like a little C to make give that knot a little bit of depth. I wonder if it should have more depth, because really that'd be a pretty darn thick door. And then I put on some lines with a palette knife. Let's see where I put that one. It's from uh, Michaels. Just because I had, a, I mean, I could use this one. It just has a longer edge. And then I end up painting out the lines because I don't want the cracks to stand out too much. And then just mixed, that's kind of a blue, that's just white with my blackish color. It's almost, it's a pretty blue gray. Add a little brown to it, made a brown gray and just kind of playing with some colors. Um, I'm going to leave it for now. I wonder if I do want a little more depth than that. Make that door a little thicker. So I've got it trying to keep it simple. Instead of showing like the thickness and the side of the door, I'm just saying that we're looking straight on. So you guys don't have to worry about perspective very much. And then I just pretty much aimed my paint towards a spot right here. I just picked a spot in my mind. And I was just kind of having the brush strokes point you in. So one point perspective just kind of going in. But we don't actually have to worry about it. We just... Just talk about it just a little bit. We don't have to worry if it's perfect because we don't have any idea how where this building is, what it is exactly, that kind of thing. And then I think what I'm going to do is just put one more color on my palette. So I'm pretty sure that is Prussian blue. I need to go back. Oh, I'm just sure it is. Yeah. Um, and I've got burnt umber. And I made a black with a blue in the burnt umber. And then it made some pretty colors when you mix white with it. I think I'm just going to put straight up cad orange hue on my palette. And that'll be my palette for this whole painting. I don't think we need to put out. Because what's going to happen is this beak is really going to stand out to us. Which I think is going to be fun. And then I think I'll make the eye kind of a blue-gray. I've seen different colors. Where's my reference photo? Oh, it's blue. It's blue in my reference photo. So we'll do that. We could maybe grab some yellow. I might just work with some browns instead. You can do whatever you want, of course. Okay, I thought I'd just pop in with a couple of comments that might be helpful. I think this is a fun, simple one that you should try. And I'll be back in a bit. So it's starting to 
takes shape. It's fun. I just saw something I think I want to do. <laughs> um, I, I think I'm going to have the sun coming. Where's my son? Emily made me a son. Let's good thing. Emily is my daughter who helps me with the lives. So I think my son's going to be up here. There. Is that in, in frame? I bet I could scoot this a little bit. I'll try to keep my... Try and keep everything in frame here. Okay. So that means this will be in shadow. I might still put a little... Oops. A little white here to remind me. Oh, that's looking fun. Okay. So we'll get you a, a close look. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to go have some dinner. Let it, um, just let it set up for a bit. Oh, I added a little more dark here just because I had a dark area up here and I just thought I'd bring it down a little bit more. So just by the values, even though I have like this, oops, look at a little water on there, this pointing in, just this light area really calls a ton of attention. And I just kind of wanted that notch just for fun. Kind of mimics the eye, but that's way overthinking it. And it, it just needs more layers now, but I've kind of got it all planned out. Okay, so I'm going to turn it sideways for a screenshot. I'm going to try and see the top of my phone. So hopefully you paused it. Got a good screenshot. Um, I think I like the door now. Sometimes here... I haven't put a highlight in the eye, but there's the face and the eye. And that's actually the uh, unbleached titanium coming through right there. What else do I want to say? I think next I'm going to do, oh, I don't know if I'll switch brushes. I've used uh, this half inch flat craft brush from Craft Smart quite a bit. I used a uh, number one Simply Simmons for around the eye. So I'm thinking a highlight in the eye, and I don't know what brush I'm going to use. I might use like this, that might, I don't know if that's quite a quarter, oh my fingers are dirty, quite a quarter inch filbert. It's, um, it's a really cheap brush and the paint's popping off. Oh, that might be a little big. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to put in like little feather texture over the top because it kind of, it kind of needs it. Might actually want to, I don't know if I want to darken that right there or not. I think it's okay. I think it's time to step away from it, have some food, and I'll be back in a bit. friends I'm done I was painting little blobs for the texture of the feathers which I think is still bigger than the actual feather texture because it looks really fine here but I think it's fun um, I really like it I think it's just it makes me giggle <laughs> the look I love the look um, I end up making this a little deeper, but I don't know that it really helps at all. I can make it even deeper, maybe. 
to make this this kind of be thicker thicker piece of wood I think we'll just leave it alone um, let me know what you think let me know if you try this one the link to the traceable will be uh, in this video's description let me know if you like the colors you can, of course can change it and do whatever you want oh here maybe maybe we'll do a little tour and then I'll turn it sideways for a screenshot so I don't know I'm trying to see the top of my phone I think that's fairly square I end up putting a little, couple of feathers over the beak, which I don't know would actually happen either. Oh, you know what? I thought of something. I thought of something I kind of wanted to do. Oh, I end up using, oh, it's it's hardly a flat brush anymore. Maybe a an eighth inch. Let's see, can I tell? Yeah, maybe an eighth. Let's grab a little white. Let's put a little, it's not in the reference photo, but I'm wondering if we might like a little I like that a little spot of white up there. Okay, so I, I did a fake. I faked you out here. Let's try it again. Do a little tour. <laughs> oh, and I, I I pulled the cheek out just a little bit from the reference photo, a little bit more. And then I also I curved it, turned it in Photoshop, and then I also curved it some. I, I wonder if that neck would be longer. I like it. It's cute. It's a fun painting. Okay, and then here. Let's see. I want my tippy toes. It's on the top of my phone. Hopefully that gets you a halfway decent screenshot. I'm going to call it Lucy Goosey because it's kind of like the goose is breaking free. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I love it when you leave comments. Um, many of you belong to my new Facebook group and share what you're painting and it doesn't have to be one of mine. It can be anybody's. Um, I, it's been so fun. Um, people have sent money to support the channel and the traceables and I, I really do go out and buy a tube of paint and just recently I bought some canvases 60% off at Michael's so that helps a ton. Great big happy art hugs and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye guys.